Hey, it's Indy. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to have lunch at this restaurant called Jewel of the Crown in Scottsdale. And I'm really excited because this place is, it looks really nice on the inside and I'm sure the food is awesome. So let's go. This is a really nice because my favorite thing so far is the bahindi. I'm probably gonna have that with some paneer naan because I love paneer naan also. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I would want to try. They have a selection of desserts too, so we might have to taste those later. Wow, this looks amazing and it smells really, really good too. This is the bindi. And we got paneer naan, like I said, rice. I'm so excited to dig in, this is such a tease. Delicious. Wow. Wow, this is really, really hot. I can hear it sizzling. Mmm. So this has okra, onions, tomatoes. Looks like there's some garlic. Oh my god, it smells so, so good. Mmm. Wow. Alright. Let's taste. I'm gonna be eating with a fork here, so please don't get angry at me. But, oh boy. Mm. It's really good. Really mild flavor, but you can really taste the saute on the onions and the okra. And, I don't know, it's just really good. This is like comfort food. Like I feel like I could eat a whole bowl of this on a rainy day. Kind of reminds me of like a, a stew, but not with liquid. <laughs> like a vegetable stew. Mm. It's a weird comparison, isn't it? Anyway. Mm. Mm. It's buttery and delicious. Buttery and delicious. <laughs> Alright, let's try some of this naan. Mm. Interesting, okay. This is good, but it's actually better at the other Indian place. It's still delicious, but I think the other place had better spice. Mm. Mm. I love naan. <laughs> Bread is a staple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, a little bit of Really, really good. I'm very happy with my meal here. And I recommend this place if you come to Scottsdale, check it out. It's in a great location. It's really nice in here. Food's awesome. Atmosphere's great. So yeah, this is Jewel of the Crown. Mm. Mm. It's really satisfying. And just naan. My first bite, I was like, not the best when you're naan, but actually, it's growing on me, and I think it's really, really good. So, I'm getting stuck. <laughs> so. quite impressed with the Indian restaurants that are available here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm not entirely sure of how large the Indian American population is here, but it certainly is not small. And that I'm very glad for because it just makes my job that much easier. So, 
great food. I'm really glad that I'm getting into this and I cannot wait to try more. All right, so we finally have dessert. I have a huge sweet tooth and this is gulab jamun, right? You'll have to tell me in the comments if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it's dough balls with syrup. And it looks almost exactly like I was expecting. So <laughs> it smells nice. It smells very sweet, but let's see. Ooh. Do I just eat the whole thing whole? Should I just shove it in my mouth? Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. It's really hot, but oh my gosh. That is a very satisfying dessert. It's a very small portion. It's really sweet and it's kind of like donut holes, but if they were really moist and almost like squishy on the inside. So I really like this. It's delicious. So this is Kusam. She's one of the owners of Jewel of the Crown. And Kusam, when did you start this restaurant? We started in 86, 1986. 1986, 33 years yes. ago. Oh my gosh. And what was it like when you first started? You know, uh, it was a new experience for me. Mm -hmm. I never, uh, you know, had a restaurant or this was the first restaurant we owned. It was learning in the beginning, mm -hmm. but I am, I very much enjoy it now. That's awesome. Great, great. <laughs> so, um, what made you want to start the restaurant in the first place? You know, we always like, you know, my husband is a builder, he's, a, he's an engineer, but he always wanted to have, a, we should have a restaurant, own a restaurant, just like a hobby or something, mm -hmm. like a sleeping partner. Mm -hmm. But it didn't work. It didn't work we out. had a partner, it didn't work with it, he left the place in a mess, and then we took over. Okay. So you yeah. kind of had the groundwork, the, the uh, restaurant itself? Restaurant, it was a seafood place. Oh, okay. And it was not Indian restaurant. So when we took over, we changed. It was called uh, Cafe 44, owned by Paul Westphal. Okay. That uh, uh, basketball player, and his number was 44. Wow, all right. So then we changed, decided to change it over to Indian restaurant. Wow, that's great. Did you ever do the cooking in the kitchen, or did you always have? A I tried sometimes with the chefs, you know, in the beginning, just wanted to guide them. Just started like <clears throat> home cooking, homemade cook, uh, food. Mm -hmm. So started, in, you know, just guiding them. Mm -hmm. wow. Still do it. <laughs> Spend some time in the kitchen with them. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. I am glad great to. Time. And nice we'll having back you. Here. Yeah, thank you. All right. So that's that. That's that. <laughs> okay. So my experience here at Jewel of the Crown was, it was really, really good. The owners are fabulous. Kusam is wonderful. She's one of the owners. I just spoke to her. The food was really good. The one thing I have to say is that I wish the food were a little bit more spicy. And uh, I don't know if they're playing it safe because I'm like a white girl, right? But gotta have the spice in Indian food so overall I would say 9 out of 10 in terms of um, the friendliness of the owners and the staff um, the atmosphere the food 9 out of 10 really good here so I'm Indy Rossi thanks so much for watching I had a really great time today um, make sure you like share comment and subscribe I would really appreciate it <laughs> thank you so much for, for supporting me and my channel. Peace out.